A major algebraic skill students need is to be able to find the least common denominator uh, for a set of fractions or fractions and equation. So we need to do that in order to do the fraction buster process. So finding the common denominator of x, 3x, and 9 is important. Specifically, we want to find the least common denominator between these three. One of the most common ways that students find a least common denominator is to list out each of the multiples of those denominators. Okay, so you've got an x, you got a 3x, and you got a 9, and you want to list out all of the multiples of them. So you start with just the original, and then you multiply. So x, 2x, 3x, so on and so forth until you find something which is the same. Here you'd have a 3x, 6x, 9x, so on and so forth. And what we see right away is that, okay, well, if you check this out, we have a 3x here and a 3x there. Those are the same. However, that's not going to get us to a spot where we will be able to get a 9 because 9 doesn't go into 3x evenly. And that's a key thing about common denominators is that every one of these denominators must go into that common denominator. So if we look at 9, all right, well, that's going to start with 9 and then 18 and 27 if you multiply by 3, so on and so forth. And what do you notice? Well, there's no way that any of these are going to work because you still need to have an x in it. And so you're going to also multiply each of these by an x as well. So 9x, 18x, 27x. And what you can see is that now we're closer because here I have a 9x and here a 9x. If you were to continue on your pattern with your x's here, where you keep on multiplying up, I'm not going to write them all out, but eventually you're going to have a 9x here, and so therefore your common, least common denominator is going to be 9x. What it boils down to is that you need to look at each of these factors and come up with the least common denominator. If there is an x in one or multiple of your denominators, then that x needs to also be in your least common denominator.